All right, we have another kind of knee that we're going to go over. Uh, this is the roundhouse knee. If you watched our video on roundhouse kick, you understand how we open our foot first, pointing out, opening the hips, and we use that kick to close the angle. The knee is no different. You're just closer, so the kick doesn't finish. You stay the knee pointed. So uh, to go over that footwork again, if you are throwing from your rear leg, the front leg is going to step out and your foot will turn out. That will make your hips feel uncomfortable, they'll be nice and open, and you'll pick that knee up, try to get your heel horizontal to the floor, and you'll pull that knee across. Opening the hip, closing the hip. Open, close. Um, doesn't look like much, you're moving about that far with your leg, but you're getting all that hip through it and you're hitting with your knee, which is a nice hard target. So what that looks like here, if you've got a hold of someone, you're going to pull them across into your body, which also aids in generating power. So we're here, boom, step, pull into that leg. Targets for this that are great is the uh, just above the knee, right in the quadricep. If you get toward the bottom of the quadricep, you get to the nerves a lot easier. You get to the middle of the quad, you'll still get some nerves, you'll still get some good possibility of muscle cramping. Um, you get much higher than that, it's not as effective. So we're staying inside the muscle to the knee. Okay? Uh, you can go as high as the ribs. That requires a little more flexibility, um, a little more forethought, which is something we usually don't have the luxury for in the rear world. Uh, so just picking that leg up, pulling them into it. If you happen to get a thigh, great. If you happen to miss and get them in the man parts, that's good too.